Welcome to this week's Intuition Insight for week of the 29th of April 2024. Thanks for joining me. I'm Ruth Ann Richards, creator of the Intuition Connection and author of Reclaim Your Intuition. And I'm on a mission to help more people reclaim and reconnect with their intuition. And each week I share this Intuition Insight to help us all stay connected to our intuition for the week ahead. And to do that, I use my own oracle, which is called Reclaim Your Intuition. Can you see the theme? This week's guidance is acceptance. I love this. Absolutely love this. It's from the coherence section of Reclaim Your Intuition Oracle. And coherence is that beautiful point when heart, body, mind and soul, sun, moon and stars, everything just aligns and you just know you are where you should be. You know you're doing what you should be doing. You know what a decision or choices that you need to make. No second guessing, no doubt, no imposter. And that's what intuition does for us. Brings us to that place of coherence and empowerment. And the specific message to be in coherence for the week ahead is acceptance. So there's a number of meanings around this. So when you look at this and you hear the word acceptance and you see the image, just notice what comes up for you um, and pay attention to that. So I'm going to give you some of the ideas of what this could be. Have you had an invitation recently for something and you want to say no, you don't want to go, you don't want to do it, but you're frightened of hurting someone's feelings, so you're looking for a reason not to do it, okay? Then this message to you is about accepting how you feel and accepting you need to find a way to say no and not come up with some kind of excuse and just say, thanks for the invite, this is not something I can do right now. Simple as that. Acceptance may be as well. Are you in a situation where you're struggling to accept what's happened? Maybe you're in a situation and, and circumstances or events that are happening to you. Someone has made a decision about what happens to you at work. Someone's made a decision about the job you need to do. Someone has made a decision about something that impacts you and you've had no control over that decision. If you're struggling to accept that, then this is the week to say, look, it's happened. I have to accept it and just ask the universe to support you and be able to come out of this situation for the highest good. That's what you need to do. But once you start to accept, and we know this from like the grief curve, don't we? Once we start to accept something, the emo even as I say it, I'm saying the emotion dissipates. Um, things become easier and you get a clearer vision of what you need to do next. That's why it's important to accept where you are in a situation that you have no control over. Once you accept that, you can start to see more clearly. The third thing that it could be is if you've been trying to co-create some things, co-create is what I say instead of manifesting, because Manifesting is we do it, oh, we do it on our own. I manifested this, and we never do it on our own. We're always co creating with the universe. You know, when we manifest, we're working with the other worldly, whatever you choose the other worldly to be. So, if you've been working to co create something and it's kind of turned up, but not manifested or turned up exactly how you thought it would be and therefore you think you know this can't be for me you're rejecting it this is saying think again because quite often we want to manifest things and co-create things but it's based on our limited imagination our limited consciousness of what it could be and actually when the universe when you allow the universe to play its part it could be something so much bigger and better than you can ever have imagined but then it's time to accept it. Just accept. Accept that you might get something better than you hoped for and that you manifested for. Don't reject it because it's not what you thought it was. It was what you wanted. So there you go. Hopefully one of those resonates with you this week. And if all three resonate with you, you've got a lot going on this week. And just, just accept. And how do you accept? You just take a sigh, let your shoulders drop and just say, hey, universe, help me out with this. Help sort this out my highest good for the highest good of everybody involved and just accept accept stop pushing back against it stop being angry stop saying it's unfair stop behaving like a victim and say okay this has happened 
All I can do is take responsibility for myself now. Wishing you a wonderful week. And if there's anything in this that you want to chat about or know more about, feel free to get in touch. My details will be around this video somewhere. Wishing you a great week. Take care. Bye.